Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite Librem 5 dude, Gardner, the Linux gamer. So I was kind of stunned when Brian Lunduke, the marketing guy at Purism, uh, reached out to me and said, Hey, would you like to talk to Todd? Todd's the CEO of Purism. And I said, yeah, what day works for him? He said, how about Thursday? I said, Thursday works for me. What time? Brian's like, more importantly than when is where? I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? Where? On on the internet, right? No. Turns out they they flew Todd out here to Maine to meet me and show me and give me a hands-on demo of the Librem 5. What? <laughs> what? He was already on the East Coast, so it wasn't that big of a detour for him. Uh, but still, the fact that, uh, that that Purism decided, hey, we, we should probably show Gardner some of this stuff. I think that that's really cool, and it's super flattering, and uh, holy moly. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps the show out. You can also hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell to stay up to date with whatever I'm doing here. If you don't want to do that, though, you can also sign up on LBRY, beta.lbry.tv slash at the Linux Gamer. It's a, it's a totally distributed uh, alternative to YouTube, and it's truly awesome. All right, so let's talk about this device. Now, I was told by multiple people that I've talked to at Purism to have my uh, expectations of the phone tempered, right? Like, this is not going to be a day one drop-in replacement for Android phones, not the least of which is because of the app ecosystem. Uh, you're not going to be able to get, you know, Snapchat or any of those uh, proprietary services on the device. Sure, you'll have PWAs uh, that are accessible, uh, depending on how the platform holder implements PWAs, but let's not talk about apps. Like, what's really important here. Uh, is that a lot of the things that I asked about were not implemented in software yet. So here's the thing. The device that I got my hands on, the phone has the hardware. It has the camera. It has the or cameras. It has the, uh, the Bluetooth module. Um, they just are not implemented in software yet, right? So I didn't get a chance to test those. And I actually brought some stuff with me that I wanted to use to test those things. Um, but they aren't uh, active yet that's totally fine. I mean, they can push out updates and activate that stuff uh, as soon as it's ready. Okay. I'm not worried about that. And so I did have my expectations tempered, but the thing is, I think that my expectations were a little too tempered. I think my expectations were overly curtailed. Um, I was seriously impressed by what I saw with the Librem 5. Uh, this device is truly a game changer. Um, Holy Moses. Okay, let's talk about this. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the actual software, the out of the box software. You have, I think, 12 apps. You have calls, chat, web, uh, contacts, the uh, the game, and Ani Animatch, that's the name of the game, clocks, fractal, a help app, uh, settings, software, terminal, and a text editor. That's perfectly fine okay it, it has the basic functionality uh that you would expect from a bare bones android install uh for the most part and i'm very impressed with this and not not the least of which is because they are gtk apps these are gnome apps most of these are coming st directly from people at the gnome foundation and and purism have uh modified them with libhandy to get them working on the Librem 5. that's truly spectacular to me Holy crap. Now, I know that some people are not going to be impressed by this, right? Some people are going to be like, oh, wow, a basic phone. It's basic, blah, blah, blah. Some people are, you know, if, especially if they are uh, hopelessly stuck in an abusive relationship with their vendor of choice, be it Apple or Google. Uh, but consider this. The debate between Android and iPhone users is that iPhones are to Mac as Androids are to PC, right? I mean, I've that's how I've explained uh, this to the to people in the past. And while that might be more or less accurate, given how hindered Windows 10 is compared to its predecessors, as a desktop Linux user, I've always felt that that comparison doesn't hold water, right? A PC user has actual like authority and and control over their machine right absolute control over their machine 
more or less. Enter the Librem 5, which is literally a Linux desktop grade experience in the palm of your freaking hand, you guys. You have GNOME and the potential for its entire ecosystem on this device. You have a terminal with root privileges out of the box. You don't have to go and jailbreak this thing. You don't have to go install a custom ROM. This is a Linux desktop grade experience. You have text editing and soon enough we'll have file browsing, okay? You will be able to natively mount WebDAV and other remote file systems on your phone, okay? You will be able to natively integrate with ethical services like Librem 1 and Nextcloud because this is GNOME and these services are built in automatically. Your, fi your files would just work. Yeah. Th this is going to be the mind-blowing part yeah. where a lot of the questions that come out is, is that the answer is like, yes, of course that's possible. Now, it has to be implemented to make it easy, right? right? But the answer is, yes, you can remote you can remote mount uh, a drive from another place. Like you can, yes, you can do a software update from the terminal. Yes, you could actually blow away your home directory if you want to, right? right. Uh, all the things you can do in the GNU Linux world on your laptop, you have the ability to do on a phone now. And okay. so that does include, you know, plugging in uh, later on when we enable the hardware uh, or through the drivers to have it where you plug into a screen and then you can have Bluetooth keyboard, right? All of those things are coming, right? Yeah. Uh, and so we have the, the this unbelievably <laughs> solid foundation to be able to build on. Right. That's So that's one of the things I'm super excited about is like being able to have uh, this kind of device be like the center of you know my digital life yeah. and being able to like you know if i wanted to code yeah. i could like sshfs yeah. into like my server totally. and mount a f yeah. you know my my web directories yeah. and edit code yeah. and, and do whatever you have complete then, freedom yeah. which which is it, 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 the reason that all these questions are coming out is because it's been the phones of the past have been so handcuffed yeah. that you can't just do something simple like that. Right. And so now you have complete freedom, and you're also protected from the you know foundation up. So those are all really strong reasons why we appreciate all the support of the current backers, right? And anybody else who's going to be buying the phone, understanding that hey, this is actually a bigger movement we're starting right. that will actually get us to uh, where you have complete freedom and and a, and a litany of applications. So in in your case, when you're talking about remotely mounting uh, Nextcloud, um, and then you can have just you know the file browser, and you can actually go find everything you want, and you can have the same things you'd have on your laptop, where you're talking about you know, calendaring or uh, viewing your photos or videos, mm -hmm. that all can be done from the, the phone the same way you can do it from a laptop or desktop right now. That's so cool. I am so stoked. So let's talk about the performance now. The performance is pretty smooth uh, when you're not doing anything super intense, right? Like if you're just kind of switching between screens, it, it works, it looks okay. It's it's not like buttery smooth, it's not like a consistent 60 frames a second, but keep in mind where they're at right now, all right? these the, They are still optimizing this device, and as soon as you get it in your hands, there's going to be updates that will improve performance, improve battery life, all right? So suffice it to say, you know, I played Animatch and it was an actual slide slideshow. That's okay. They're going to go from uh, 10 frames a second, uh, which is my guess of what was actually being rendered on the screen when I was playing it, to, you know, in the next update, maybe they're going to be 20 frames a second. In the next update after that, maybe it's going to be 30. In the next update after that, maybe it's going to be 60. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind, especially when I watch, uh, you know, the YouTube channel Hackers Game. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. He, he uh, talks about the Librem 5 dev kit and and he talks about the uh, progress that they have made and you can see where they started and you can see where they're at just six months later and it's like dude this is an incredibly fast moving thing and the the, the pace of linux software and free and open source software development is uh, impressive and we are going to get to a place where this performance wise rivals anything coming out of Google, in my opinion. I am so beyond stoked for this. Let's talk about the screen for a second. This screen is positively gorgeous, you guys. The screen is so pretty. Uh, oh my God, I can't believe how pretty this, this screen is. So uh, it looks significantly better than my, and my current Android phone, the Google Pixel. Uh, two or something. I think it's either the Pixel or the Pixel 2. I don't know. I don't care. Um, the screen is gorgeous. Flat out 
beautiful. I wouldn't change a thing about it. Not one thing. Now, when the final specs of the Libra 5 device were announced, uh, the fact that it had a 720p screen did kind of raise an eyebrow. But when I thought about it, I realized that it made perfect sense. And when I saw this device in person, I if I didn't know that it was a 720p screen, I honestly would have thought it was at least 1080. I w- if someone had if someone had bet me whether or not it was a 720p screen, I would have confidently bet that it was not 720p. It is gorgeous. It, you can't tell that it's not the super, it's not a 4K blah, 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 HDR. Blah, blah. Who cares about any of that crap? There are diminishing returns, especially in a form factor like this, where you know pixel density stops mattering. There are diminishing returns. You're not going to slap this in a VR headset, first of all, because that's not, you know, that's, that's like way down the line if it's ever going to come. So doesn't matter. Second of all, this device, you know, it, the 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 more uh, pixels you have, the harder the GPU has to work, the less battery life you actually have. That's just a fact. So this device is truly gorgeous. The screen is amazing. I would, I like that was the thing that I was expecting to like the least. And when I saw it in person, I was like, damn. So I, I got the, the, a chance to actually sit down with Todd and talk to him about some stuff. And to be honest, uh, I'm really glad that I did. He's such a genuine dude. He's so cool and down to earth and really smart. And he knows what he's talking about. And it was really, really, really nice uh, to, to, to get to see this device and, and just kind of make this connection with him and, and kind of geek out together about the awesome thing that they've built. So I just wanted to like kind of uh, put up a couple highlights of our conversation and the, and the stuff that we talked about and uh if you want to see the full uh thing if you want to see all the footage that i got uh you can head over to patreon Uh, my patrons get exclusive access to the full raw like unedited uh (laughs) meeting that i had with him uh this is really really awesome i am so stoked uh thank you to uh brian and thank you to todd for for like meeting with me like i can't believe that uh this uh, you guys gave me this opportunity i uh, it, it's so awesome so thank you so much uh thank you to the Librem 5 team for being cool and like developing this amazing device this thing is a freaking game changer my friends this will change the world i'm this is a google pixel 2 mm-hmm. xl this is the Librem 5 yeah they have the same feel in my hand. Cool. Like they have the same, like this is like well the built. flagship Android phone. Yeah, 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 right. And this is, I mean, this is the flagship Linux phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is such an impressive feat. And I'm yeah, like yeah. so beyond. Yeah. It, it, yeah, uh, I, and this is not even the final build. Like that's the thing that's- No, no, this is the first one. Me. This is our first one. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And it's, uh, <laughs> and you know, the, the, and the aspect of what I, when I was talking about loose tolerance and things like that, right, in the Aspen yeah. batch, these are the things I'm referring to, right? That you can you can end up pushing here, mm-hmm. and you can like you know here here inside, yeah, you know that, uh, but you know there's there's like, these are minor things, but tolerance yeah. is important. Yeah. But even where we're at now, uh, this is a, it's a solid phone. Right? Absolutely. And and it's only gonna it's only going to get better. Right. Uh, and you know so the, the other example is you know inside of the hardware kill switches that you'll see as you're sliding it back and forth, then the black. Uh, um, on the inside will rub off to the raw aluminum. Right? Okay. Um, but those are things that are, they're, they matter, but in the big picture of things, what we've accomplished, oh, right, yeah. they're really minor. Yeah. And so, uh, and, and those, that also goes for all the optimizations and other types of things that are coming. Right. right. I think that's going to do it for this video. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support this show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon. You can also pick up a t-shirt. There's a link in the description. But no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.